So we just live around the corner from our church and every time we go and after church is over, Brady's always like, did you drive today? Yeah, I did. If you guys remember in the last vlog, all the snow that we got, Brady is mistaken if he thinks that I'm gonna walk to church in that snow in a Sunday dress. Mm -mm. Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I'm doing all right today. I, I'll explain. Oh, sorry, he like couldn't even see me. I'll explain more in just a minute. Um, but I got, um, I placed an order with, um, <clears throat> um, have you ever shopped at, um, my sister's closet boutique? Um, I placed an order with them and it came in the mail. Um, I really enjoy, um, shopping there. I mean, cute packaging for one, but they they carry clothing sizes, like plus size, and like, it's actually the cute boutique type clothing in the plus size. So it's not like this stupid, you know, well, okay, that's a really rude word to use. I didn't mean to use stupid, because not all boutiques are stupid, but, um, you know, it, it's not, like a lot of boutiques out there where they're literally go to like a size large and a large really means medium. Um, I got two dresses. I got a pink one and a green one. And I wanted to show you because they are so, so cute. Here is their follow information. Oh, it kind of got dark there for a second. There we go. And sweet. Got a coupon code. So I'm gonna show you um, what they look like. Does anyone else just like hate unpackaging the clothes because they're like so perfectly folded that if you have to return it, it is def not gonna look like that in the package. <laughs> okay, so you can't care too much about the wrinkles because I just took it out of the package. But this is the dress that I got. Um, it's pink and it actually looks darker on camera than it is. It's like a like a bubblegum pink but with like more of a red tone to it. Um, it's super, super soft and stretchy and it has pockets. And these are the cute sleeves. That's kind of what draw me to it. But it's a maxi dress and I held it up to myself and it does go to my feet, which I really like because I'm pretty tall as it is. So there's that first one. So with this dress, I am in love with it. Um, so I got this really cute green one. So it just goes to my knees probably. Um, it's a little like, so it's like one length and then on the sides it kind of scoops up and then over. So I may have to get a skirt extender for this and I have a couple, but um, yeah, it's just a dark green and look how freaking cute these buttons are. Like, could they get any cuter? And it looks like it's about quarter sleeve, but so, so, so super cute. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so disclaimer. My apologies if you see our dirty room and laundry hanging all over the place and I didn't put it away first. Oh, I wanted to show you something. I also got this dress, which is just a yellow and white striped dress that goes to about my knee. Um, I got that at Down East with a gift card that my mother-in-law gave me for Christmas. So I'm really excited to wear it because I've actually, um, been eyeballing it for a little while now and um, so I'm really excited that <laughs> I was able to get it because right now down east is like in the middle of their like in between fall winter and spring types thing so like I don't know 
they don't really have a lot of new product in because they're trying to get rid of product. Um, so yeah, anyways, I would say that purchase was a 10 out of 10. <laughs> um, like I said before, I really enjoy um, shopping from my sister's closet boutique. Again, because they do have the bigger sizes. What's up guys? Do you ever, <laughs> I feel like I have to say what's up because if I start the clip like any other way, <sighs> I forgot something too. Um, I was gonna say, do you ever start something in one room and then you go into, I'm gonna put this tripod on, you go into a different room um, to either put something away or drop it off or to do something really quick and then you end up sitting in there and you totally forgot that you were actually in a different room doing something else. <laughs> Go, I'm exhausted just saying that. Probably not because you're all probably much better at remembering what you were doing than me. Um, so I wanted to show you, I, I gotta be careful not to knock my camera over. So, um, I got this for Christmas. This is a journaling edition. Um, let's see if it will focus on the book. There we go. So it's a journaling edition of the Book of Mormon. And I got it for Christmas from Brady. And it's so cute and it's like a hardcover one. And I remember being like, super unsure that I wanted the hardcover one because I wasn't sure that it was going to lay flat when I opened to read it and write on it, but it pretty much lays flat. So I'm a fan. And this was one of the first ones that um, Desert Book came out with. And so it was between this cover, just a plain gray hardcover, and then a gray paperback cover. Um, but now they have like all kinds, like they have a hard cover like this, but the binding right here is pink and there's like pink flowers and gray and stuff. And I'm like, oh man, like I would have loved the pink one, but they didn't have it at the time. And that's totally fine because this one is just as cute. I mean, look at that print. It is so freaking cute. So cute. I just really love pink. But anyway, <laughs> um, so when I... If you don't care about scriptures and marking scriptures and reading them and whatever, then you can fast forward because <laughs> I'm going to talk about that for a second. Um, whenever I've um, read scriptures in the past, um, I've always just used whatever marker or pen color I wanted at the time. Um, I even remember one time I used a different color every single chapter. Um, and... I don't know, I've just never been like a key kind of person where it's like yellow means happiness and um, blue is for, you know, call to action and red is for everything about Jesus Christ and black is for warnings and consequences and like that. I've never been that kind of a scripture reader, marker, -er -er <laughs> kind of person until I got this one because Brady also got me these. Um, you can get these on Amazon. You can get them like at Target. I think you can even get them at Walmart. Oh, I don't know if it, there we go. Um, they're just super fine tip pens that come in colors and they don't like super bleed through the pages, but you can definitely see the marking on the other side of the page. So I guess maybe they, Oh, I don't know. They don't bleed through, but you can see it on the other page. Um, but I really like them. And this paper is a little bit thicker than like your normal scripture paper, which makes sense. Um, anyway, I started reading it the other night and, um, Brady was like, Oh, what you need to do is like create a little, you know, key, like, um, like on the inside of the front page or something. And, um, I was like, I've just never been that kind of person. Like if I want to use a color, it's because I just am really feeling that color right now. And like, I just have never been one to like, remember like, oh, red is for when they talk of Christ and yellow is for when they talk of joy and gratitude and, and pink is for when they talk of charity and, and promises. And like, I just, 
I don't have time to remember that because I just want to read and I just want to underline something because it makes me feel good or it's happy or it's a promise or it's a reminder or it's a warning or a call to action or whatever I feel like I just want to be able to underline it because that's what it is I don't I just and you're probably like girl calm down it does not have to be like this serious it's not a big deal <laughs> because it's really not but I just have never been <laughs> that kind of scripture marker I don't know whatever Anyway, I decided that maybe I would try it for this one because that would be a lot of fun. Um, because the margins are so wide now and there's more space up here. There isn't a ton of space right in here, which kind of sucks, but that makes up for it out here. Um, I'm not really like a... Like some people are like, just get messy in your, in your note taking and your, you know, inspiration and your thoughts and your revelation and like just write it out and scribble and draw lines and whatever. I've never been that way. I just can't handle like purposely being messy. I need it to like at least look nice and organized. <laughs> oh my gosh, that sounds like a lunatic. Okay, anyway, so I decided that I would try to um, do some sort of key like Brady suggested, but right now I only have four colors because I'm only like a couple chapters in First Nephi. So these are my colors. I don't know if it will. So of course I chose yellow for happiness, joy, gratitude, peace. Um, I chose pink for love. Um, I chose blue for call to action and I chose red for warning, consequences, Lucifer, Satan, adversary, whatever. Um, I chose red for that because like when I think of Christ, I do not think of the color red. I think of the color red as like super important warning, hey, like pay attention, seriousness, not that, oh my gosh, this just sounds so wrong coming out of my mouth. Anyway, and then blue called action, I didn't really care, I just picked a color. Um, I picked pink for love because I used red for something else, but I still wanted to mark like love and acts of charity and um, like the love that our Heavenly Father has for us and that kind of a thing. And then obviously I chose yellow for happiness and joy and gratitude because when I started reading this a couple days ago, um, I was kind of down in the dumps a little bit. Um, this week's kind of been a little bit rough and I'm not really sure why. Um, I'm trying to figure it out, but I think it's just one of those weeks where everything just sucks. My mood sucks. I'm not sleeping. I am having a hard time focusing during the day and it's just been rough. And so when I started reading this, I was like, I just want to use the color yellow right now because I just want to read and I just want to underline promises and blessings and just like eternity type things. And, um, just happy stuff. I just wanted that. I needed the reminder that, um, you know, that, that I have these blessings and these promises and, and whatever. And then soon after Brady <laughs> decided to butt in and tell me I should use more than one color. So that's kind of what I've been doing. Um, I'll just show you like on this page, I don't know if you can really see, but I've got some yellow and some pink, I've got some blue up here. I use black to write for the color yellow because I wouldn't be able to see the yellow, but that's kind of what one page looks like for me. Obviously, I'm not like a messy journaler, but um, man, if I would have had one of these in high school, my first set of scriptures when I was like eight would not look as terrible as they do because anyway. So I just wanted to show you guys that and I am super in love with this. If you got one, comment down below which one you have and if you like it. So that is what I wanted to show you. So Brady and I are helping, oh sorry, hold on. Brady and I are helping to clean out the church tonight and I have got chalkboard duty. So I am just wiping down the chalkboards, but this is the classroom that we teach Sunday school in. So it's kind of fun. Her church is a little bit older, but it's a lot of fun. Brady is sweeping the gym. 
He is hard at work. Do a trick. <laughs> Are you going to try again? No. Oh. So I'm at the grocery store to get a prescription filled and look what I just parked in front of. <laughs> look how cute they are. That little brown one just barely seeing over the ledge. He's laying in the snow. <laughs> so Brady and I vlogging. <laughs> We're going to the temple and I'm wearing my cute yellow dress that I got with my gift card. Brady's wearing his cute blue and pink tie that he has always had. Anyways, we're excited. Okay, so we just got done with the temple. <laughs> Brady doesn't want to be in the video. I'm going to roll up the window so people don't hear me yelling because I have to talk loud. That kind of evens out the lighting. It was really good. They, um, you probably heard, they changed up how they do one of the ordinances. Um, so that was kind of fun to see like the changes in what's new and and everything like that. Now we're getting some food to drive home. Was it worth it, babe? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he's got a lesson to prepare for tomorrow. Okay, you guys, here is the green dress that skews my dirty room. But it's pretty cute and it's pretty long. I thought it was gonna be short. There's the pretty button detail that I need to dust my mirror. But it's so cute. I think I'm gonna pair it with some brown boots. So yes, I'm coming at you from my desk. But this is a different angle from my desk. So, um, Brady got me, dun 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 dun. You probably can't even see what it is, but it's um, more memory for my computer. My computer only has, I think, two two of these sticks that are four gigabytes total, and he got me these two that are eight each so that I could have more. Um, so I'm pretty stoked about that. He's gonna hopefully help me put it in later, and I kind of have something that I think I'm gonna do. So do you see this desk right there that's always, always full of stuff? I think I'm gonna clear it off, and I think I'm gonna move my computer over there and just use this fun Ikea desk thing as just a desk to put stuff on. Yeah, so I am pretty excited that my memory is finally here. <laughs> my Christmas present that's coming a whole month later.